check your advice on it. All right, um, quickly, this is going to take like three parts. We're going to have a quick brief as about two years ago, sometime in 2010, towards the end of December, when uh, Mr. Rona, Mr. Rona was um, with AHK then, and introduced, you know, and the Nigerian Journal Business Association, which is Dr. Doherty then, introduced, you know, uh, very soon in collaboration with uh, APV to make this program. Now, what is the essence of the program? Is to see how environment, climate change issues and environmental issues can be dealt with from the social economic end. So we have programs that are directly related to certain areas of the economy in, in the FCT. So like this is focused on the markets. We have the ones that are focused for schools. We have the ones that are focused for residents. You know, that's the whole concept where you know, a technology provider from Germany or any other, com any other country can bring in their technology, test it, and then we can now scale it up on a big scale. Right? So for the markets, we have about nine to ten markets in the city of Abuja. And we decided that rather than having generators as regards noise and pollution and all that, we decided that it's wise to have solar energy and replace those generators here. And that way it can be scaled up. You know, people can now own it and have solar systems running the shops. Then we also had something we had street lights, which is being produced by very soon. Uh, with CCTV cameras for security, he is the head of security here for the whole market in Abuja. And they've had issues with security. You know, sometimes you have fights break out in the market and then nobody knows what's happening. You know, so we decided that it would, be, it would be nice to have CCTV surveillance cameras monitoring the market. And of course, you know, we have the issues of terrorism and all that, just to avoid all that big scale. Then, as part of it also, we decided to decided to add, add back boxes to the streetlights to generate revenue so that we can reduce what we charge you know, the shop owners and we can also generate revenue for the market management to ensure that the systems work continually. So you know, that's the concept of what you know, the ACE and the REAP is all about, where we can look at the sector and design particularly what will, what will work for that sector. So we've designed something that works for the market here. Once this is launched by the FCT, we can now scale it up and it you know, So that way, you know, things are being done. Rather than just having programs that are not working, we want to make it work practically uh, you know, here. And that's what, that's what the week is all about. That's what the ACE program is all about. So GIZ, of course, is an important part of this, being that we have a German company providing the technology. We tend to see how we can work on other programs with, with GIZ and see how this is really affects. So that's what the base program is all about. Then one of the major things that we've also decided to do is the transfer of technology. You know, most times you have all this technology from Germany, from all the places, but we're not, I mean, nobody's teaching anybody here in Nigeria how these things work, how do you, how do you repair them, when they go bad, are we going to always bring extra trades from Germany? So we need to transfer technology. We need to ensure that this is done. It becomes cheaper. Renewable energy becomes cheaper. Of course, that's more profit for the German companies that produce also. Then, of course, training and capacity building. Then the issue of standardization. Um, one of the issues we've had in, in Nigeria generally has been the issue of standards when it comes to renewable energy. You know, sometimes you see some, some, some components coming. Nobody knows where they're coming from. You, know, you fix them, you have warranties of five years, and three months is broken down. You can't find a guy who produced it. I mean, people are stuck with, <laughs> with all sorts. So that's the issue that the FCT minister and everybody wants to see how we can solve. By the time we have companies coming in like very soon, being a part of this initiative, then it's very hard for anybody to we want to play games, uh, and that's, the, that's one of the major issues that we've, we've identified and is trying to solve with this program. So very soon offered to do this as a pilot, as a commission, you know, to support and show its commitment to, to this program. And then of, of course, have this scaled up on a big, big level where you know, people pay
pay for this debt. Now, one of the major things that we've done is to ensure that people don't pay so much tuition at the beginning. You know, solar is always very expensive as initial cost. But very soon has decided that we can work with some financial institutions, we can, they can provide the technology, and then the people just pay, the shop owners just pay for, you know, for the energy that they use. So for example, you have your PHCN, goes for 11 naira per kilowatt hour. You should be able to have uh, solar also done like a sort of metering system at the same tariff. And then as people come in more, we have economies of scale that we're going to reduce the tariffs and have uh, interrupted cheap energy all year round. And then ensure safety. Uh, when you have generators in the market here, everybody has a little generator that has about 3 liters of fuel. And if you multiply that across 1,500 shops, that's, um, that's about 4,500 liters of petrol every time in the market. The fire goes out here now, the space bonds now very quickly. And this is in the middle of town. So safety issues, pollution issues, standardization issues, you know, capacity building issues, a lot of things that this program is designed to address. And um, we hope that um, this will catch the attention of uh, everybody, of all the parties that are involved and we can work together on some of other projects that are going to go forward for the city. We have for this pilot there, we're going to go out and do it. That's a 2KBA, right? Yeah. It's a 2KBA. It's just a test to see yeah. the workability and it's been on for how long now? And this, yeah. the, the equipment here, the gadgets are on solar now. Oh, I think almost seven months. Seven months, thereabouts. Seven months. Yeah, so. Seven months. So, yeah, it's been on working. The one we just installed at the street lights is one that was installed about three weeks ago. And we have the surveillance cameras. We'll show you how the surveillance cameras work you know, to, to capture the market, flashpoints, uh, where there could be danger, or you know, just to ensure that everything. And, and what we intend to do is give these platforms to the security agencies, police, the, the SSS, you know, and all that, so that anytime there's any issues, they can respond very quickly, you know, rather than having a recorded speech. So, even the minister, the MD of um, the Abuja markets, will have, he will also have a platform. He can always monitor what's happening in the markets. Because I'm going to cover all the markets. We also have a lot of markets. We in the markets. We actually want to be a job of markets. We don't know what is happening and we don't know who's starting. Uh, mostly are people that are always hanging around the market, so they are not people who are involved. But you can capture the information who are the people that are involved in the market. So once they know that you watch, you try to release the information. They are attending the same market. 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 Because like you are here, we are watching you, you can't do from the place yet. When they want the log, we try once, we have to call them, check on them, come and see from our screen how we are monitoring so that they know that they watch. So I think it's a good development of the screen. Thank you. And you said that very soon, like working with financial institutions and offering their Yes. So, so that's the prices for you. You know, what, what they're going to do is that they're going to, they're going to install them at their own cost. You know, that's what we call the power purchase agreement, where, where the systems are installed there. Then you have meters in every one of the shops. So people buy, the shop owners buy the credit, like you know, the way you recharge your phone, like the pay as you go there. So if you use, prepaid meters. Yeah, prepaid meters. Yeah, prepaid meters. So you just buy them, and over the life cycle of the football, of, I mean, of the of the stuff they just pay, keep paying them. And then it's, it's easier burden on them. Because already they pay so much for, for fuel. Um, so we're trying to see how we can work at half the price of what they currently pay for, for fuel that way. I mean that's a good business case anyway. Okay. But at the same time, very soon is it's, it's providing something making this money while the people are also enjoying the electricity. And then all the leases of, of 
fire, hazard, and noise. Is minimized to it to create to create uh, So this this I I really uh, yes we renewable energy efficiency application program. Okay, so uh, is it like energy? No, no, that, that's the name of the program for the markets. It's for MSMEs, micro, small, and medium enterprises. Uh, yeah, so so you, you can you can have a cluster of um, let's say shops where you know you have guys do bathing salons or um, hairdressing salons or you know you know business centers where they can have energy produced as a cluster rather than you know yeah but who, who is in charge who works this is this is the FCT via the AEPB and um, various sort of companies the public private partnership yeah so the FCT is, is involved in this but the concept is that the technology providers brings the technology, applies it, the government gives them a concession you know, to, to, to work over a period of time and earn their money back. So it's, I mean, that's, that's the easiest way to do it. Government is not spending so much in terms of but they're just given the platform and then of course the night the necessary regulatory back and uh, contracts and based on the very soon. So that, that's the concept we also intend to use with other um, uh, renewable energy companies that we intend to come under the ACE initiative. So anybody who's coming in from Germany now to, to, to do anything in Abuja will have to come via the ACE. Uh, and you can go through the necessary screening in order to see that uh, their products are right and necessary certifications are in place. And they are willing to, 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 to work practically. But enough of all the, uh, we have programs, we have these, you know, let, let's see what we practically need to do. So, uh, you know, so the next one we're going to be doing now for schools. schools. All the schools where we can power their laboratories, their libraries, their hostels, and then we'll do the residents, you know, housing communities and the rest of them. So that way we can begin to at least help the environment. And then that could also serve as a revenue generation for in terms of carbon credits for for the FCT as a whole, you know, with projects that can be scaled up to a point where it becomes meaningful when you're trying to get carbon credits from the international markets. So, so it's both ways. I mean, it's beneficial to all parties. They're enjoying their electricity. Very soon it's making um, it's, its money and growing its technology. And the government is ensuring that uh, Regulations and climate change issues are followed in a responsible manner. And they're also earning a few, few, few dollars. Okay. And just a brief introduction on the NESP program, the Nigerian Energy Support Program. Uh, we are working on the road for clients, renewable energy, energy efficiency, rural electrification, and cross city building. Fantastic. Right now, we have this program.
so so that means um, there's a platform for us to work together. Yeah, that's what I'm going to ask. What role do you think the GIZ? What what I think you know? What I I I think that you should move away from that critical residual capacity. Um, then capacity building is here and there. Um, working with you on the pilot projects, you know, I need to be able to look at but there are other areas like I told you about the school one, the ones for the schools. We, we can work together with GIZ to, 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 to deploy that you know, for a school, we take a school, do a pilot, see what are the parameters that we make this a success. Um, and basically, our, our goal under the ACB is, is just to ensure that you know, the end user gets this at the cheapest and the price. I mean, energy, access to energy as simply as you can. And it's as simple as that. Then, of course, training, capacity gain, because that's usually the challenge. I mean, I know how long it took us, you know, just putting all this together and all that and all that. So, if we have support or, you know, organizations like yourself, technical support might not be so difficult, uh, institutional support, even at the policy level, because we need to take a lot of our focus based on this. It's not just doing this. After doing it now, we need to publicize it. We need to let you know, the National Assembly know about this. We need to let them be able to see you know, what are the areas that we can actually you know, adjust our policy and be able to ensure that everything is being maximized. So, so I'm sure we can have a sort of um, session in where we sit down. Bring forth our recommendations. We can also do that. What do you think we can do together? How we can work together? I'm sure you, you, since you're already a pioneer active uh, institution nominated, I'm sure let's just make sure that we have enough contact and interaction. It's an evolving field. And I'm sure there are ideas that you will share with us, and also the ideas that we can also bring us. I mean, we've been researching this for you know, this project for about three years. So. We know some things. <laughs> we know some things. I'm sure we can work together. So, what we need basically is just access to be able to share some of our ideas. And uh, that's all. I'm sure we can work together. We also have a lot of contact with the local people here. You know, um, technicians, electricians. Those are the people we need to train. Uh, a lot of people don't know a lot about solar. Yeah, they just trial by error. You know, I've, I've seen that happen a lot. They're not really fast on it. So training should be part where we begin to empower. You know, this this um, skilled to an unskilled to skilled you know, uh, uh, technicians and electricians on energy efficiency. And I think we can really focus it to enlighten people school level, at um, workforce level, you know, at, at uh, whatever you want. Even we can decide to go to be do a sort of presentation to the Senate or the House of Reps, let them know what we're trying to do and how this would really affect and uh, have an impact on um, socially and economically and what we want to do. From what both of you discussed, I think uh, that you have the same goal. So I'm sure where you have an issue, you have a uh, operation so that the whole issue can be solidified. Yeah. You have a common goal where the idea will be fit for it. So, of course, the installation was done by local electricians? Yes, we did this by uh, Mr. Enns. Well, I've been around, it's been around several years, so we had to show. We have to show some of our patients, train them on the installation. And that's why that's why it's, that's why it would be there. And, and, and that's and, and that's what we're trying to do. Ensure that there's proper transfer of, of capacity for the local people to be able to do this. And that's what we've to a large degree we've had our challenges, but by and large we've been able to get this across and working fine. Okay, you want to say?
because you've stopped the battery. The battery is going to discharge and ensure that the uh, battery is facing the power in the time when there's no further power or there's no source. Alright. So this is just 20 minutes that I may or may not just stay in the water. So it down, no shut down. So normally when you're in the water, as never goes off, you have to go out and buy off and don't process. You're not even aware So what we intend to do is have the Nepal meters here. The solar uh, printed meters just like that. Okay, so once Nepal goes off, your printed um, solar. So, so this really works? Meters, yes. But, but it's when we're installing that, that's when we're doing that. So this will really. This also will work very well for the rural electrification project that you're also looking at. How much? How many kilowatt hours have you put in the batteries? the how much, how much? Kilowatt hours. Um, that would be... Let me divide that. So the other one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, about... 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 Yeah, but how many uh, kilowatt hours? So this, this, doesn't work with AC. this would take an air condition. What? This would run on an AC. No, no, it cannot even. No, it can't. Air, no. No, because this is just a pilot, it's a small system. Yeah. It, it can't run on it. Even if you power, it just zaps the battery out. So How many kilowatt hours is the battery? It's one. What is it going to be? Let me just repeat it. So the complete system is So rather than having one small system like this, the energy of the what they normally use. So once you have that, it's Scarcity. Scarcity. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can also remove all of these guys from um, excessive use of uh, fossil fuel, um, CO2 emissions and all that. Then you have health hazards. And then so health hazards, you see that? If you go around the market, so much noise, you know, you know, they have to, I mean, they have to do their business. They have to put on the generators. So now that we are able to replace it, now we can enforce it that nobody brings in generators. So we go to other markets across the region and do the same thing to the industry lights. So, 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 so we will show you the surveillance camera uh, of this actually in the front. The front um, goes into the into the market and the other ones on, on the left and right. So you can actually see the images, you can zoom. But you can zoom in because of the rain. So the rain is not the same. That's a missing factor. So, but usually you can zoom in, zoom out, check what's going on. You're going to have to work on the whole place. And then the battery, it works with the battery, so it's never going to go off even if there's no. The, the, this is the source of electricity which is constant. Yeah. And so you're going to have security in this, in this uh, place. And then it's an infrared. It makes you at night when the lights, even if the lights are off, you can still view. You have the infrared comes on and you can still view a live image of people coming in and the activity. 
Yeah. 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 Y